gonna be doing experiment one, which is interference of light. So at the introduction, uh, the objective of this experiment is first to determine the wavelength of light by interference using Fresnel mirror and the second objective is to determine the wavelength of light by interference using Fresnel by prism and lastly to compare the wavelength, wavelength obtained by both Fresnel prism and Fresnel mirror with the theoretical value of uh, light wavelength which is 632.8 nanometer. So, before we further explain about the procedure of this experiment, I will explain to you first about the apparatus that we will use in this experiment. So, first, this is laser, and this is the lens one with focal length of f equal to positive 20 millimeter. So, this is our personal mirror. And this is our lens 2 with focal length of positive 300 millimeter. So uh, this is our Fresnel by prism. As we can see on the procedure, there's a constant distance between all of these lenses and Fresnel by prism and Fresnel mirror. So this apparatus is has its own built-in ruler that you can see behind it so you no need to use your external ruler. Okay, so now we proceed for appendix purpose in this experiment. So all of the objective has its own appendix rules that we have to fill in. So for objective one, this is uh, the appendix and all of the data you obtain from this experiment you have to fill in so the data that we will need in this experiment is image size distance mirror between screen distance lens between screen distance to successive maxima and focal length of lens so all of these parameters we need to record it in unit of centimeters so you guys don't have to convert it to meter we need it in centimeters so uh, after you have all the data that you need and you can calculate it calculate the wavelength by using the formula of lambda equal to dp over a so we proceed with appendix of objective 2 so for objective 2 it's almost the same we need to tabulate the data of image size distance by prism between screen distance lens between screen distance to successive maxima and focal length of lens all of these parameters also we have to take it in unit centimeter and the wavelength will be calculated by using the formula of lambda equal to dp over a so after you have both of these wavelengths you have to calculate it in objective trees appendix calculate it and compare it to the theoretical value given 632.8 nanometer and don't forget to calculate the percentage errors and please show us your calculation. Okay guys, let's start with the procedure. So for this experiment, first thing first is you need to make sure that each of these distance, which is the first one, the laser at 2 cm, and then this lens one at 23.3 cm, this is the personal mirror at 43.2 cm, and lastly the lens at unknown distance it means that you need to adjust the lens tool to make sure that you can see a two spot light spot okay so after you adjust everything and you need to make sure that the lens one with the wall between two to five meter and then the lens one to the wall is in range of two to five meter also and then after that is you need to measure the distance of the lens one to the wall which is A, lens 2 to the wall which is B. Okay? And then next step is you on the laser. But precaution, this laser
laser is a type 2 laser. So make sure you didn't have the right direct contact with the laser. Okay? After you on the laser, you need to adjust the mirror and the lens too so that you see a two spotlight like in the left panel. See? These two black spot. And make sure that you measure the distance between two light spot as image size. Okay? Not the image size this one, but the distance between these two. After that, you remove the lens too. Remove this lens too, and then you will see an interference which is a dark and a bright page like this. And then, to make it easy for you guys, you can put a paper at that interference and draw a line to show which is the maxima fridge and the dark and the bright fridge, sorry. And then, lastly, is you need to measure the p-value which is in between this maxima and also this another maxima which is in between these two is the p-value. And lastly, is calculate the wavelength obtained using the prisoner mirror. For the second objective, you just need to change the prisoner mirror with the bi-prism.